Hey, I'm Maggie K. So I am currently at Incheon Airport in South Korea, and I just arrived from my flight from Fukuoka. And um, yeah, it's like 11 something at night. Not quite 11:30. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna be here for like I think it was 17 hours, but it'll probably be a little less than that because of getting off the plane took forever because I was at the very back. But um, yeah, I figured since I'm gonna be here for quite a few hours, um, I would vlog it. So you might be asking, why aren't you going into the city? And it's because it's late at night. <laughs> so I basically spent money to go into the city, sleep, and then wake up and things wouldn't open before I need to get like on the train to come back to the airport. Like it just wasn't worth it. I'd do like maybe one thing and I've already been to Seoul. Um, I spent a week here two years ago, three years ago now? Three years ago. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hang out in the airport and show you what's in the airport. And since it's late, I'm gonna go and try and find one of the nap zones because they have free nap zones here. By the way, everything I'm doing is from sleeping in airports. Great website if you have layovers and you need to um, sleep in an airport um, and like the Incheon airport website so that's where like my resources to try and figure out something to do for the next 17 hours Good morning. So it's like 7.30 now. So it was reasonably comfortable in that little nap zone. Um, but now I'm gonna go and try and find some coffee to wake up. <laughs> Cause I got a long day of waiting ahead of me. Though I think, I think the airport here will um, entertain me well enough. There's some things here to do. So that took a little longer than expected, but I got my coffee. Yes, just Starbucks. Um, and it took longer than I thought. It's like 8.30 now because I was trying to find the 7-Eleven, which is like tucked off into the back somewhere and I couldn't find it. I walked past it because this. Can you see this? The focus. Basically, when I was at Hakata yesterday, I was putting my bag into a locker so I could do a little bit of shopping and pick up a few things. And I broke my nail. And it's driving me crazy and there's no way I was going to get through the day without fixing it. But my nail file is down deep in the bottom of my checked luggage. So I needed to find the convenience store to buy a nail clipper. I really wish they had nail files, but they didn't have it. But I need to I need to fix my nail. This this is not okay for me. <laughs> um but yeah, I got some coffee. I'm gonna try to fix my nail and then I think I might shower because I feel gross. Okay, so I finished my coffee and I was just been watching like a little bit of YouTube videos because the Wi-Fi here is great. You can watch videos. Um, and I just need to point out the window I'm sitting by, beautiful view. You get the terminal and the Korean flag, like that's my aesthetic. I just needed to point that out, just needed to show you guys. Beautiful view at the window while I'm like enjoying my coffee. So now. I think I'm gonna go and try and get a shower. They do have free showers here. And if you travel for more than eight hours, I'd say, and it doesn't matter whether you're sitting in the plane all of those eight hours, you turn into a dirt ball, like instantly. It's one of those magical things about travel. Like if you're in transit for more than eight hours, yeah, dirt ball. Um, so I'm gonna go try and take a shower and become a little less of a dirt ball when I reach Tashkent. Okay, so 
I have made it into a shower. Some of the doors seem like they were, I don't know if they're like full, like someone's using it. Um, but then like, oh, another guy came in and like just opened it, I don't know. Um, but this one had the door open and this is what it kind of looks like. There's my bag, toilet. They have these towels out in the front, like in front of the showers. There's a little hair dryer and this thing to keep your clothes in, a little cupboard. And then the actual shower seems decent. And they do have some products there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shower. <sighs> so I decided against washing my hair. I was going to, but then like my hair takes forever to dry, even though there is a little dryer there. I'm like, I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes in here trying to dry my hair. <laughs> and I hate walking around with wet hair, which is why I always shower at night. Um, but yeah, it was good to just like clean my body and get a bit of the grime off. The shower is actually pretty decent. Hot, good pressure. Yay, for free showers, why not? All right, so I have just decided to find a quiet spot at the very end of the airport. That's the trick if you wanna find somewhere just like quiet without people. As long as like the gates at the end here aren't boarding anytime soon, it's really quiet down at the ends. So I'm just gonna chill here. Um, I forgot my book. I have a Central Asia travel book and I was like, oh, I should bring that and I'll like read up a little bit. Even though like with Uzbekistan, I feel like things have changed so much so recently. Like it was only a couple months ago where it changed where Canadians don't need a visa to enter Uzbekistan. So like things are changing so rapidly. I don't know how much in my Lonely Planet guide is accurate anymore. But yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter that I forgot to <laughs> pack that. Um, though I do have my travel journal. That's something I've started recently. I did it for my trip to Mongolia. And I'm gonna do it for my trip to Uzbekistan. So I'm just gonna write a little bit in my travel journal and chill and yeah not not a whole lot right now um there is like a korean cultural center experience thing that i might check out later but right now i think i'm just going to relax a little bit So I am starting to get a little hungry, so I think that I'm going to start wandering around the airport a little bit. And I'll show you if I see anything cool as I work my way towards the food area.
So the table wasn't really big enough to put my camera on to film me actually making this and my hands were a little too shaky with the tweezers to do it one-handed. So yeah, that's the finished product. Hopefully it makes it back with me because I still have a whole trip to go through and get back home. So hopefully it doesn't break in my bag, but cool little experience. that they have here in this like digital gym are deceivingly hard <laughs> it looks really easy but I'm like Ugh. okay and I like how they tell you how many calories you burn doing it cool they also have basketball here which I think I'm gonna pass and I couldn't get the the jumping one I can't get that to work but yeah all right so they have a Dunkin Donuts here so I picked up a little afternoon snack and I need to, I don't need to charge, it was like 50% but I wanted to charge up my phone before my flight leaves. So this is what I'm going to do for the next little bit, watch some YouTube, have a little afternoon snack, it's all good. Alright, so it's almost time for my flight to board so I figured I would end this video here and I just want to say, like. I don't recommend having a 17 hour layover like I did where it's not worth going into a city and doing something like if you have a 17 hour layover during the day take it go explore the city but if it's like an overnight layover like me um, yeah not recommended even though I have to say Incheon Airport has lots to do to kill time like I wasn't bored out of my mind here there was lots of things to do I would have spent more time at that little digital gym, but I didn't want to get sweaty <laughs> and um, like feel the need to take another shower. But yeah, sleeping at Incheon Airport, not that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And yeah, I have a little, a little Korean souvenir to take with me. Had some good food and yeah. Uh, better than I thought it would be. So yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe because I'm on my way to Uzbekistan. So fun times are coming.